hello everyone in this video uh, we are going to make a video that how to set up uh, this vpn which i uh, explained in this video i hope you have seen this video uh, this video I have already 2.8 views and only 45 likes so if you like the video must uh, like it and comment it so there is a user uh, this user nice 744 he said that uh, i should make a video of sending uh, setting up this software in the windows so this video have two portion first is for the uh, normal users and second one is for the uh, advanced users so normal user by mean that for example if you want to use the google and google services like google drive or maybe chat gpt or other study purposes like a uh, google scholar and things like that uh, other than that it's up to you but for me it's for the study purposes because that's why i use it mostly second one is the advanced users uh, for example if you want to access the github via id like maybe from uh, pycharm or maybe visual studio or whatever uh, id you use and uh, then uh, you use uh, for example if you want to use some software which is not run in the browser so first let's uh, explain this process then we will move to the this process and we will explain how this uh, stuff works so let's start so here is our uh, clash for windows uh, you can say currently it is uh, running so let's uh, and it's also enabled these are only two options enabled at this moment so we need a profile uh, profile uh, you can buy uh, one of these uh, services which i mentioned in this video uh, i assume you have a profile and that profile have a link so this is my profile uh, you can see this is my link i am going to obviously blur it you can call else uh, steal it so i click here and it is copied now now next step is i go to the profiles and then i will paste my link here okay uh, control v and now i have to download it but actually th it is this profile so let's see what happens downloading and you can see that uh, this profile is downloaded uh, you can see these two are same so i'm going to actually maybe delete it uh, okay i will delete it later so anyhow you can say that i have so you can see that i have two profiles now so um, i'm going to switch it anyway so this is how you configure it in the uh, android up it's also same uh, there is also profiles option and in profile option you are going to download uh, but in the setting uh, you can uh, make a setting which is actually important uh, very setting here in setting i uh, use set this uh, update in terminal for maybe five or three or two hours or whatever you want so in this way it uh, this this profile will be automatically updated uh, let's say they make changes in the servers or something like that so your profile will be automatically updated so this is how you configure uh, configure it in the windows but let's say if you have uh, uh, other devices like maybe you have ios then again you can see that if i click here uh, then it will show me this ios link but for ios uh, you need to use this stash or maybe shadow rockets or these options but they suggest that you should use the stash so stash which uh, i'm going to click here uh, you can see this stash and here ios app store and you can download this stash from the uh, from the uh, ios store so i hope you you know how to how to how to do these things so in this also there will be option to set up the uh, this profile uh, this link uh, which is given here again we click and it is copied so this is pretty simple process now let's move to the uh, this advanced users option now our problem is that uh, maybe we want to access github or maybe any uh, maybe a google data set so let's say there is a data set which is on the google or maybe on the github and you want to access it uh, via pycharm or maybe you want to ping 
uh, the um, some website or something like that whatsoever so how this is uh, how this can be done so for example i am going to show you uh, this question which actually i asked about nine months ago when i was trying to do this so you can see that in this question i have tried that i wanted to ping the twitter yahoo or facebook but i was not able to do that so uh, in the answers you can uh, see the answers i am going to share this link with you uh, there are many answers maybe you want to try different things you can do but what i tried and it is working for me i am going to show uh, show you that so this is uh, winton uh, uh, tun i am going to read it as a tun i don't know what exactly it should be but tun or tun but winton uh, you need to download it uh, you will download here and it will be downloaded in your let's say downloads and you extract it okay so this is winton i downloaded then extracted it and it has these files uh, in the bin uh, whatever is your software so for example uh, uh, my own was this one so i copied this and you paste it in the installation folder of the uh, of the uh, clash so i hope you do the uh, know how to do that but if you don't know so i'm going to show you that so let's say open clash and we open the uh, file location and uh, it say the file location is it's not the location okay this is start menu and programs we again right click and open file location and this is our and you can see that i have posted pasted here winton so you have to copy paste it here uh, i think uh, you can find the uh, same path maybe but anyhow when you copy this the next step is that on journal you have to enable this tun mode okay and also in the setting uh, under the maybe uh, okay where was that here uh, system proxy uh, you also enable this specify protocol so i enable these both things uh, so now i can access the i am going to show you uh, this is my pycharm uh, it's a bit large but anyhow you can see that i was okay maybe like that you can see that i was trying to push a project on the github and it is successfully uh, uh, pushed so this is how you can uh, upload your projects on the github or maybe if you want to download a data set from the github or whatsoever which uh, whatever or maybe you are using teams or some software which uh, which is not accessible maybe zoom or something i don't know uh, such softwares but maybe anything uh, i am uh, aware of this uh, teams uh, this sorry github thing so this is how you configure uh, your clash on your windows so this video is only for the study purposes uh, i don't expect you to misuse uh, these kind of things because uh, it's not good thing in china okay bye bye